the musical Hamilton is creating more buzz than a Broadway musical has in years. And now one of the original cast members is performing here on the Sun Coast. Actor Andrew Chappelle plays five different roles in the Oslo Reps production of Beatsville. And we are thrilled to have him with us today to talk about life as a Broadway actor. Welcome, Andrew. Oh, yes. thank you. Hamilton. Wow, I never thought I'd touch somebody in Hamilton. Oh, you just did. <laughs> <laughs> What's it like to be in a show like that? Oh, it's been it's been awesome, awesome, awesome experience. I joined the show when it was downtown at the Public Theater off Broadway, and um, it became very clear to us when the show opened down there um, that this is something that the world needed yeah. to see. Mm -hmm. um, you know, when it was being created. So I'm a swing in the show. Um, and that means I cover uh, five different roles Whoa. in the show. Wow. You know all the lines and all the moves to five different shows. Correct. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so, you know, um, basically my job is when someone can't do their job, I do it. Okay. Um, and uh, I was, great. there were only two of us downtown. It was me and Javier. Javier covered uh, the King and Hamilton, and I covered all the other male principals. Oh, oh wow. And so, um, Downtown was a stressful moment. I just kind of was like always in my pajamas <laughs> and like with the script in hand and running around like l walking, memorizing lines. And um, it, it became so clear because I saw, you could see the people lining up outside and that doesn't really happen for an off-Broadway show. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, usually off-Broadway shows, like a, you, the audiences are light mm -hmm. and people were trying to get in. I mean, the fire marshal came to our <laughs> final performance oh. of... Wow. Hamilton because there were too many people in the lobby to try and win the lottery wow. and, they, and they had to keep the doors open you know by law and have people wait outside because there were so many people and that enthusiasm for the show only grew when we moved uptown and the theater got bigger mm -hmm. and then the world started to take notice um, and I have to say that it it all happened so fast it it really feels maybe like a few months ago it all <laughs> happened but it's been you know two years oh, wow. yeah so why why were you brave enough to take a break from Broadway and come to Sarasota for Beatsville well you know I think it's a, just about uh, building a body of work as an mm -hmm. actor mm -hmm. um, I have enjoyed Hamilton I still enjoy it so I'm on a leave of absence from the show so you're going back so I will return oh, I good, will return good, good. to Hamilton I didn't just like could throw. you give us tickets <laughs> <laughs> the question of my life yeah I'll bet um, but uh, I I took a little break because you know got to keep it fresh and yes. stay inspired yes. And I had done a workshop of Beatsville. Oh yeah, there it is. That's that's my yeah, number. I'm so this. you do five different characters in Beatsville? Um, I at oh, okay. So at one time I did, but you know, <laughs> so it's a new musical, so it's changing. Uh huh. Um, it doesn't. It's not changing anymore. I used to play five. Now I play three. Two of those characters got got up like absorbed into one character. <laughs> I was um, going to say, two of them died? Because yeah. you, know, you know how this movie, this, this play is about, uh, you know, a little bit of a morbid kind of death thing. Sure, a lot of people die. I die. I'm, a, I'm actually the first person to die. Um, but that I'm, must be quite an experience. Well, I'm used to dying. I die a lot in Hamilton. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I die. There's one of, one of the characters that I cover. He dies in Act 1, and then the, he di comes back as another character, and he dies in Act 2. So, um, I, I actually, so Hamilton is on a turntable that spins, mm -hmm. and so is Beatsville, and mm. it's very funny because when I die as Lou in Beatsville, I die, and then the turntable takes me around, and it's the exact same speed wow. and direction that I die <laughs> and in Hamilton and, and get And you're taken alive around. again. Oh. <laughs> and I said to Max, the guy who kills me, I was like, you know, this is exactly how Lawrence dies in Act Two. It's the exact same way. But well, tell us a little bit more about Beatsville because I saw it and I loved it because I feel like it's almost like a. Um, Funny but dark. Oh, it's a dark musical comedy <laughs> for sure. You know, it's a long, I like to think of it as kind of like a Little Shop of Horrors meets oh. Sweeney Todd. <laughs> you know, it's like instead of like this dude making these people into pie, he's making them into statues. Yeah. Um, I, it's based on a movie called A Bucket of Blood, which I don't think anyone really has ever seen. It's a very short, one hour, maybe a little less than an hour movie. And, um, you know, it's just about like beatniks in the, you know, village in the late 1950s. Mm -hmm. And this guy, he just wants to fit in and be cool. And 
these people keep these people keep accidentally dying all around him, and so very strange. It's very strange. It's very musical comedy, but you know we have a really good time. I love being in the show. I did a oh. workshop last year. We can't wait to Where see you. Well, Bo Beth already has. Yeah. It's at the Oslo Rep Bellow, and it is through the 27th of May. The 28th of May. You've got one extra oh. day. It's through the 28th of May. This you Sunday. Can, this yeah. through this Sunday. Yeah. Oh my goodness! You've got to get out there and see it. Yeah. You can go to their website uh, at the Oslo Rep for more information and ticket information. Next, Bello, you've got a surprise for us. Do you? I do. <laughs> <laughs> I do. <laughs>